Hello, Hoopaholics. It's Coach Spins back in the film room here today to talk to you about Aaron Neesmith, the 14th overall pick by the Boston Celtics, and how he is a great shooter off screens. Like any shooter at the college, pro, or high school level, it all starts with your footwork. That shooting is done from the base up, and Neesmith has a very consistent landing point. He has great footwork coming into his shots and great balance to rise into it. He's particularly good on the move where he knows how to push off of his top foot as soon as he comes off of the screen and get his balance realigned to the basket. You notice here he pushes off his top foot, lands, squares, and fires. This footwork and movement shooting is what allowed Neesmith to shoot over 52% on three-point attempts as a sophomore at Vandy. Neesmith is also pretty strong at reading his defender and understanding that guys are going to take different angles on him because of the attention he commands. And sometimes when he's involved in screening actions, his defender will go underneath, as we see right here. What he's great at is popping back to the corner and separating himself from the defender. He uses that screen really well, reads his defender quickly, and you see the footwork is the exact same. Sometimes shooters gain separation just by shaking their man and getting to the perimeter, and other times it's by changing speed, slowing down when they see the screen is coming, and speeding up as soon as they know they're about to use it. Neesmith has proven he can do both. If there's one worry with Neesmith, it's that he's a little bit slow on his release. He sometimes doesn't catch it very cleanly and has a slower transition, uses his shoulder pretty heavily. So what that led to at the college level was getting a decent amount of his shots blocked where defenders that would find their way through screens and get a hand up would be able to alter the attempt. He does have a counter to it, and he's pretty consistent. This shot fake and sidestep in order to get to a three is really important. At the NBA level, defenders are trained to chase elite shooters off the three-point line and force them to make plays in the two-point range. Neesmith is going to counter that by sidestepping and keeping his feet behind the three-point line. That gives the Celtics the ability to get the highest quality shot possible when they're running screens and actions for him. Sometimes the easiest way for a shooter to get open is to set a screen themselves. And Neesmith has proven during his two years at Vandy that he's absolutely willing to set screens. So in order to get Neesmith open, Brad Stevens may have to include a lot of screen the screener actions. And it's an area Neesmith has proven really, really good at. Not only does he align his feet quickly, but Jerry Stackhouse was able to put him in his favorite spots in the corner through a lot of these corner exit plays. So if Neesmith is going to come to Boston and set down screens in the middle of the floor before coming out towards a corner and having one of the ball handlers find him, that's going to be his best position to succeed. It's a skill that partners really well with the high pick and roll. Beyond that, Neesmith has proven that he fits into a lot of NBA screening concepts. One of them is the hammer screen, a frequent late game option that some NBA coaches are going to go to. As the ball is driven baseline, a help defender is going to rotate, and Neesmith is going to come off of a back screen on the weak side, find himself in the corner for a knockdown shot. He's also really strong in these middle comeback type of plays where he'll flip the ball to a teammate, which will have a, a high ball screen, and Neesmith really just shoots back to the middle of the floor afterwards. And it's a great wrinkle that the Celtics already run. The bottom line is Brad Stevens doesn't have to change things up to accommodate to Neesmith. His footwork, his prowess on the move is going to enable him to fit in to any type of shooting concept. And a big reason for that is because he's proven to be so elite that his gravity gets his teammates open. There's a ton of examples from his year at Vanderbilt last year where he was able to come off screens or just relocate on the perimeter and his man would stay with him, abandoning help defense responsibilities. That's also really important when you're coming off screens. If he can attract two defenders to him when he comes off of a set, that's going to open up opportunities at the rim for his teammates. You see here, UNC Wilmington has their low man in the zone jump out on Neesmith as he cuts to the corner. That leaves a two-on-one from eight feet and in at the basket for, for Neesmith's teammates. It's a wide open opportunity at the basket. There's another example of it here. As he makes the backdoor cut, his man is going to work really quickly to find him. He abandons his help responsibilities, and that opens up a clean look at the rim. Neesmith may not be a 50% shooter again in the NBA, but if he's good enough to draw the ire of defenses as he comes off of these screens, it's only going to result in more open looks for the rest of his teammates. Thanks for watching.